is the soft close systems drawer closer installed on the top drawer where my utensils are and the drawer, drawer is closed. I'm just going to open it here, show you the spring mechanism. It's a little, there's a little bit of tension until that point and then it comes right open. Primarily because there's a spring right in here that helps pull it closed at the end. So when I let it go, this mechanism here, little plastic piece, catches onto the red area and then pulls it closed. So when you install it, there's going to be tension to that point where the spring pulls out. And when the spring pulls out, it lifts this red piece into a latched area so it stays right here. So the drawer closed, it would be all the way back here. This is the, the compression rod hooked up to this latch. When the drawer closes, it hits this and pulls it out of here, and then it softly shuts, like so. When you pull the door open, there's the tension from the spring that's above, so it helps pull it back until it moves it into that position. Close it and see if you get an idea. Okay, this is uh, the soft close systems installation single drawer. This is my silverware drawer. It's not loaded yet, but it's about as heavy as it's going to get. So the drawer comes all the way out with it installed. I had to put it into, I had to screw the, the latch here plastic latch into the metal siding, so I'm going to have to worry about a, a screw coming through here. I'll probably just cut it off. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll look for a smaller screw and put it back in there, but that's the worst of it right there as far as coming through this drawer. If it were a wood drawer, then clearly you wouldn't see that, but this metal is just a few millimeters thick. Anyway, with it installed and the railing system, you just shut it and it softly closes. You have to give a little bit of force in order for it to actually catch. And then it will softly close from the tension bar. You can hear it clicking into place. There's a little bit of tension when pulling the door open because there's a spring mechanism inside. And then you can see where I'm I'm actually, the spring is locked in place where the drawer starts to move faster. The door is not actually sticking. It's fitting in the frame perfectly as it's supposed to, but that spring that helps it close um, softly and latch the spring mechanism Here, latch this in place like so. It's going to fling out of my hand. That's what happens when you only have one hand to work with. Um, the spring here helps pull it closed, this rod here, but it also helps keep this open so it stays forward. That way, when the door is open, it has something to latch onto before it gets to the end here. And of course, once it latches on, the door hits it and it softly shuts. If this weren't out here, then it would just roll all the way back to the end and slam just like a normal drawer. This would be the normal drawer. Now you can see there's no tension here. It smoothly comes in and out. However, if I were to shut it, it bounces and it's a lot noisier. This one here. That's a little louder and it's more obnoxious.
but for a relatively inexpensive DIY solution, gives a kind of a higher end upgrade with soft closing. I've done that with my cabinets also. These little mechanisms up here, same company. They're just compression loaded. Put them in the corner. You can adjust the tension back here and you just shut the cabinet like you would the same drawer and it softly closes. Um, I would show you an example of one without except I've, I've installed them in all of them. So, well, everything's sitting tightly as, I mean, like it's supposed to. I've got a little goo on here or something. But, it's nice and soft. Now I just need to do that to the rest of the drawers because this is not exactly the same as the instructions are set up for the frameless drawer. It's taken a little bit of extra effort, um, but at least I've got that one drawer down. I'll figure out how to work with the rest of it. Thankfully the screws don't go through the wood. That's good too. They don't go all the way through so they won't hit a drawer or a cabinet or an object on the other side with the exception of the metal frame here. And that might be alleviated by smaller screws. Um, I'll probably just get smaller, slightly larger ones so they fit in the pre-tapped pre holes. That's another thing. Because it's metal, you're going to have to tap it. If it's wood, these are already wood screws that come with it, so it'll go right in without splitting the wood it should. Now, granted, that's totally up to you. You, you should, probably should tap a hole first. That way you don't split your wood. But with the metal, it's not going to happen. It's just going to be a pain in the butt if you don't have a drill. My drill's broken. So, that is the soft close system. Now you just have to remind people to close the cabinets and the drawers.